Off you and God. So in the right position as the red Protoss, we will have ISL2 Alfio. And in the left position as the orange Protoss, once again, once again, these guys have like, you know, very similar shades of colors. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, guys. What was it? The first game they were, uh, they were yellow and orange and then white and yellow and now red and orange. That's, huh. Some kind of crazy color theory going on here. I'll let you guys figure out what that one means. Anyway, we are going to have a cross position. Uh, match on Icarus, which uh, I believe I believe was used in last season of Pro League. I don't think it's in use this season, but uh, so not not such an old map. And uh, well, looks like uh, no crazy cheese coming out for either player. Excellent. I actually think the middle of the map is not entirely buildable, so I'm not even sure if you could proxy gate uh, even if you wanted to. Uh, although I'm not 100% sure, there might be some places you can. But I think a lot of the middle isn't actually buildable. Anyway, um, while we wait for stuff to happen, let me give... Oh my god, how does that keep happening? Oh man. I don't know how, I just keep minimizing everything. I don't even know what the shortcut is for that. But somehow everything keeps disappearing. But that's fine. Oopsie daisies. Wrong window. In any case, let's uh, give a huge thanks to Kale Veaton. TwitchTV.com, KOS Templar, Elegant AOV, Ruskig, Trap, Mega Shira AOV, A1K1, A4K1, Noise AOV, uh, and Miso Chobo for sponsoring the ISL2. We have a, a huge prize pool of $1,500. Uh, I can't actually remember how the the prize is split, but uh, but man, that's a pretty pretty hefty prize pool. Uh, especially for the the current Brood War foreign scene. So anyway, looks like uh, both players going to scouts kind of in a mirrored fashion. Uh, looks like an anti mana pylon going down for God, and uh, Alfio just putting a second pylon right here. Not going to do the anti mana, but uh, not a huge problem. Once again, delaying his gas mining. So you know he definitely has this build uh, planned out. Yeah, it looks like he, he starts gas mining a little bit after he gets his cybernetic score, which is very interesting. But, I, I mean, if he's let's say he's going for the same 3-gate goon, I don't think that's going to be as effective on this map, since, of course, it is a ramped map, uh, rather than... Well, rather than a non-ramped map. Hey, what do you know? There's two kinds of maps in this world. Ramped and non-ramped. That wasn't even a joke. That was, just, like, actually true. Huh. Well, go figure. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, we'll see what happens when the summon next score finished. Will there be more gateways added on? Or will he go for some kind of tech? It's almost certainly going to be some gateways. Um, having delayed that gas. Probably going to get range first, though. Range? 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 Well, no, I guess he's not going to get range. Ah! There we go. By the way, I do like this uh, this, this probe hidden here um, for God. Although, unfortunately, I mean, Alfio has gotten the scouting probe in, so he has uh, quite a significant advantage right now, seeing exactly what his opponent is doing. Um, and God's going to have to wait for this Dragoon to get out before he can get rid of it. He is getting range for himself, though, so he's not doing anything uh, anything silly. Meanwhile, nothing, uh, nothing from Alfio either. I think he would have added the, the two extra gateways by now if he was going to go for that three gate build. So I guess he won't be going for it. Uh, meanwhile, oh man, this probe still alive. Look like he's just going to run away out of the base now and probably get home safely. And ooh, look at this though, Alfio. Very, very nice um, game sense, I guess. Uh, taking down that scouting probe. There's the second gateway. And yeah, it looks like Alfio's actually not going to do that. I think that's a smart move. Uh, doing a three gate on this map, I, I think, is not ideal. Now a robo is down for God and a second gateway. So gateway, robo, and then gateway, and uh, two gates, and then a robo for Alfio. So almost the same build, although obviously the, the, the building order is slightly shuffled. So uh, Alfio will have a marginal Dragoon advantage, whereas God's, uh, God's Observer slash Reaver will be out just slightly quicker. Uh, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference in this game. 
and uh, yeah, both players just uh, building up. Interestingly, Alfio's a, a little bit, got quite a, or a bit of a supply lead here, 40 against the, uh, well, 37 now, so not so much. Um, I guess that makes sense though, given that uh, God got the Robo first. So God going for a shuttle. Uh, if he goes for the same build as he did in game one, it'll be a shuttle observer, and yep, there it is, shuttle observer and then reaver. Of course, allowing you to get your reaver out in decent time, uh, while also still being safe against any kind of DT shenanigans. That is a lot of probes on minerals. Uh, God looks like I don't know if it's just the way the the pathing is working, but it looks like Alfio has a lot more probes than God. I don't know if that's just because of the configuration of the minerals or something and they're just moving around more. But yeah, that is some crazy probe saturation. Anyway, God playing defensive, chilling out of the top of his ramp. Alfio being a little bit more aggressive with his units. Um, that's, that's quite interesting. And actually, Alfio skipping Observer once again, assuming that God is not going to DT him. That's very interesting. Uh, taking some risks here. I don't know if he feels like he has to do this against God, who is a quite a fearsome player, of course. But you know, Alfio is uh, definitely decent. I'm pretty sure Alfio is something like A minus ish as well. So, uh, so definitely playing a little bit risky here, considering you know it's uh, it's round 64 in ISL. It's uh, it's no joke anymore. Some serious competition in the, in this round already. Anyway, observer is out. By the way, note this uh, this observer path. He goes. He goes up first and then towards his opponent's base, rather than rallying it straight to his opponent's base. This is to spot any DTs that are walking towards his base, because if DTs were walking towards him, uh, obviously they'd go through the center, and if his, his, if his obs went straight from the robo, he might actually miss them. Uh, and it looks like, I would assume he's only making one observer, and uh, yeah, he is making reavers, so, you know, he really doesn't want to miss DTs if they're running across the map, because something like that will just instantly lose you the game. And it looks like Alfio going straight for an expansion here. Uh, that's interesting. Looks like the scanning probe gets taken out. I would have—I I mean, I might have thought that um, he'd go for a uh, reavers before shuttle. Even um, sometimes, if you want to play defensive like this with reavers, and oh, oh, God, gonna lose the observer. Uh, sometimes when you go for this fast expansion, you can actually skip shuttles and just go straight for reavers and just rally them to the natural because you don't want to be offensive with them. You just want to, uh, you know, be safe and defend your expansion if uh, if you're taking it so early. But uh, God is not going to go for offense anyway, so his expansion is going to be a little bit behind. And he's lost his Observer, so I would say Alfio is probably feeling quite comfortable right now. Uh, or at least he will be as soon as he sees what God is up to. He'll be very, very comfortable, in fact, knowing that they did pretty much the same build, except uh, he got his expansion up, uh, let's say, 10 seconds earlier. Uh, which might not sound like a huge difference, but it definitely, definitely is uh, when, you're ba when you're basically doing the mirror builds. And it looks like Alfie is actually going to go on the offensive here. He does have vision of what God is doing. Looks like God is going back to pick up his second Reaver. Uh, so God will have uh, the Reaver advantage here. Two Reavers against one. Looks like no extra Reavers being produced for Alfie, who's instead adding on gateways. Uh, yeah, just making Dragoons now. And uh oh, looks like uh, Alfie going to get caught a little bit out of position. Going to lose a few Dragoons. All his units are moving in in a line. And God going to snipe the shuttle, going to probably snipe the Reaver after that. And oh man, Alfio taking some huge Reaver hits as well. Alfio going to go after the shuttle. The shuttle dies with one Reaver in it. So God, a bit of a blunder right there. And did that Dragoon, did, did that Reaver just shoot his own Dragoons? I don't know what happened there. That was kind of weird. But uh, Alfio is in full retreat. But I think with that shuttle snipe, um, he definitely... Well, I mean, he's still on the losing end of that battle, but that was a, a nice move. Or I should rather, I'd rather say actually that was a bit of a blunder by God. I mean, his shuttle was actually under attack. I don't know why he picked up the Reaver in it. And it looks like he's going to try and intercept this Observer, which just barely stops short there. I don't know if that was on purpose or uh, or what, but uh, God, interestingly, despite winning that battle, is still behind in supply. 56 for him against 67 for Alfio, uh, probably due to the mass gateway production of... Uh, that Alfio has now. God, uh, well, he has gone up to three gateways, but is continuing. Well, he made a shuttle. Is he going to make him another Reaver? I don't know. He is getting a Citadel now, so probably no. He is actually going to get one. Okay, that's uh, that is fine. Second gas has gone down, and looks like uh, God is now going to go on the offensive. Interesting that neither player going for any kind of uh, Reaver harass, just going straight for the attack with the. Uh, with the main Dragoon army. 
And looks like uh, Citadel and Forge going down for Alfio now. So Alfio's tech is a little bit slower. Uh, the Archives has already started for God, and God meanwhile pushing up here with this one Reaver. But Alfio has a definite uh, goon advantage. He also has a few extra Zealots here, which will tank hits quite nicely against the Dragoons. Uh, God, why is he leaving this loaded? Oh, he's actually going to go for a harassment on the natural here. Uh, Alfio going in with Dragoons. God going to pull back immediately, but if Al is Alfio going to see this? No, it looks like God is actually going to pull back. Um... Which is interesting, might be a smart move, I guess. Uh, it just doesn't want to die to a goon attack, but ooh, if he went for a harass here, and oh, look at this anticipation by Alfio. Very, very nice. Putting a Dragoon right there, uh, also putting a cannon here. So that was that was quite nice uh, by both players, I think. And uh, looks like plus one is now going for, wow, look at that identical timings on the plus one. Uh, looks like Alfio is supply capped at 90 food, got at 78. Still behind, adding on some more gateways now should allow him to catch up a little bit. And now, you see, now Alfio's putting the cannon in each mineral line. I think that's exactly what you need to do, man. Because DTs, they're pretty good. They are pretty good in this game. Uh, anyway. Two Reavers are out. And. Probu in the bottom right. SNM, I see, I see your message in Skype. I got it, man. I got it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, so anyway, Alfio is floating a bit of money now. I don't know why he's not building... Oh, no. Well, now he's spent it. Okay, looks like he just made another round of goons uh, before making the Nexus. That's interesting. So going up to 100 food against 90 of God. Uh, who's going to see this attack coming? These two Reavers, though, I think... Well, that is a lot of units here from Alfio. This could be it for God. He's going to immediately lose one Reaver. Oh no, God instantly loses both Reavers. That is such a huge win for Alfio right there. He does have Templars out. Does he have Storm yet? He does have Energy. I don't know if he has the upgrade. If he has Storm, he might survive. But if he doesn't, he's almost certainly dead. He does have Storm. He storms the Reaver. Uh, can he get the Reaver? He does do a nice Storm on the Dragoons. He gets the Shuttle. Is it going to be enough? He has one Cannon there. He morphs. The Archon, I don't know. I think God will barely hold the attack. Is he going to get the Reaver? Yes, he will. Alfio's Dragoons being AFK there. So God, barely going to hold on here. So close. Is he going to get the uh, the Archon? Yes, he does. Alfio with a nice snipe. God throwing down another uh, cannon there. Looks like he's looking to take his third. And uh, a probe. I guess God has spotted the third Nexus of Alfio. But Alfio, I think, is in a great position here. Uh, the only issue, of course, is his Templar tech. I don't know if he's gotten Storm yet or not, so for the time being, God really only has a slight tech advantage, I would say. Um, let me actually see if, actually, he might have gotten Storm already. Actually, no, uh, looks like he does actually have Storm, so never mind that. And this probe now going to get taken down. So God, a little bit of trouble right here. Of course, the series is at 1-1, one, one, so... Uh, Whoever wins this game is going to advance to the round of 32. Whoever loses this game will be eliminated from the tournament. And I think God would certainly like to place a little bit better than he did uh, in the ISL 1. So uh, let's see if he can take it down. Both players just uh, being a little bit defensive here. A DT going out for God, but uh, there is an observer with the army. And there is already a cannon here at the natural. Although I think uh, with only one cannon here, the DT can actually run by and maybe just chill back here and do some harassment. But uh, no, 